Hey guys. So I went, I was back here in my back room um, going through some stuff and I have been looking at this reverse mini backpack and I've been thinking do I really need another mini backpack in my collection? And as you know in my other video, I only got this bag because um, it came up on the website and it was like a spur of the moment um, purchase. So anyway, um, I pulled out my regular monogram mini backpack and I kind of just wanted to show you the differences in the canvas and... Um, I guess maybe ask your advice, you know, do you think I should return the reverse or do you think I should keep it? I am leaning towards keeping it, but as you know, I do have the Palm Springs PM backpack. I have the regular mini Palm Springs in the mono and I also just acquired the Sperone backpack and I'm really trying to decide should I take the Sperone backpack back and keep the reverse or vice versa or just go for something totally different or you know can you have too many backpacks I think I'm the type of person who um, it's kind of like you have a sh like you find a t-shirt that's like the best t-shirt if it's great it's a great cut and you want it in every single color right that's me <laughs> and I'm kind of I, I feel like I'm kind of getting that way with the Louis Vuitton backpacks and I've been thinking you know maybe I really don't need the Sperone backpack maybe I really don't need the reverse mini backpack maybe my collection is just fine with the regular monogram mini backpack and the Palm Springs PM backpack with the reverse pocket. Maybe those are the only backpacks I need because I'll tell you right now, I am really loving the Palm Springs PM backpack and I was on the fence about that bag when I first got it. So um, I really need y'all's help in trying to figure out which bag I should keep or should I take them both back and get something else because I really am wanting to add the Speedy Bandolier and the Monogram to my collection. And I'm also thinking of adding the All In Tote. I, when I went to the store to pick up my, um, or to order my card holder, I asked my CA to if I could see the All In Tote. And she kind of looked at me weird. And she's, pro <laughs> she's probably always confused and never knows what to expect whenever I walk in the store because I'm all over the place with my bags. I have different bags. I, the only, really the only bag that I have kind of, um, I guess hoarded or splurged on are the backpacks. Everything else in my collection is different. Like I do not have the same bag, um, you know in any print except for the favorite that's the only one and um, now these two mini backpacks and now that I have them side by side I'm like really do I really need two of these <sighs> you know or you know can will I miss it you know I don't know so you know as you know I got the Sperone because it is the Azure pattern and I really wanted to add something Azure to my collection but the other day I pulled it out of the dust bag I really was trying it on and I had my stuff in it I was maneuvering it on you know my bag um, on my back not my bag <laughs> and I started noticing how the corners can wear on that bag. So when you put the bag on and you put it over one shoulder and then say you want to get your stuff and you swing the bag around to the front side, that's how you get corner wear on that bag because the points are so pointy and you can feel it kind of in your side poking you as you're trying to um, move the bag around. And I really wanted to see, you know, 
if I was gonna like that bag and if it was something that was suited for me and I just don't know I'm so on the fence about that bag I just don't know I know how the mini backpack works you know um, so I really don't need to try to see if I like that one um, like you know putting my stuff in it and so forth I just don't know if I really need too many backpacks now the Sperone backpack it is gorgeous but I'm thinking, you know, when I first started looking at the Sperone, I was looking at the BB size and I tried it on and there's really only one way I could wear that bag and it is the crossbody around, you know, you put the strap over and make it into a crossbody because the straps on that bag are super long and even on the shortest setting it's still really really long so I couldn't really wear it as a backpack unless I wanted it as a really slouchy backpack that um, rested on my butt and I really did not want you know I didn't want that kind of backpack so that's why I ended up getting the bigger size and I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should have stuck with the BB because it is the smaller bag. And I think, you know, you would probably get less wear on that bag on the corners because you wouldn't be constantly swinging it around your side um, to get into the bag. So um, I'm contemplating that as well because I really did want to get an Azure piece. Um, or should I just get an Azure Neverfull or the, um, I do like the Graceful. I have a Graceful and I don't have corner wear on that, but that does worry me, um, a little bit on that bag also because it does have the corners. So I really like that bag though. It's so pretty every single time I see it in the store. I just don't know. I need y'all's help. I don't know um, what to do with this bag because I can really see why those corners wear so fast on that Sperone backpack. And normally whenever I decide that I want to add a new bag to my collection or a bag catches my eye, I really try to research it a lot. And there, like I said when I did that video, there are not a lot of YouTube videos on the Sperone backpack and I don't even know if there's a video on wear and tear um, on that bag and so that started you know making me wonder like well I know people are purchasing this bag but maybe people aren't keeping the bag because of the way that it wears and you know, the day I purchased that bag, my CA said that she had ordered a bag the day before for another lady. And the day I went in and looked at the all-in and told her I was on the fence about the Sperone backpack, she said I just had to order another one for um, a different lady. Um, I think it was that same morning. And I thought, oh, I people do want this bag. Like, people do wear this bag. Although, I've actually never seen anyone wear the bag in real life. Um, but I do know that Lily LV just purchased this bag. And she says, you know, just wear the bag. You know, don't be, you know, don't worry about it so much. And that's kind of how I am too at this point um, with my bags. That's why I decided to take the leap and, you know, jump into the Azure um bag collection but now I'm just really having second thoughts about it I you know because I talked to my CA about it and she said that's just the nature of that of the backpacks you know they're the corners are gonna wear on them that's that's just what happens and you know she goes but you know you're really careful with your bags and you rotate your bag a lot so you know, you probably won't notice that, you know, that probably won't happen to your bag. And I thought to myself, yeah, but once I get in a kick and I'm like, I want to use this bag every day, like I've been using my Palm Springs PM, I'm not going to be able to do that with the Sperone because the corners are going to wear quickly. And 
I just don't know if the bag is really worth that price point for the corners to wear um, so quickly on the bag. I just don't know. If y'all will please give me some advice and let me know what y'all think I should do. Should I keep the Sperone? Should I exchange it for the BB? Um, and should I keep the Reverse Mini? Or should I return it? I really need help in, desi in deciding it, what what I should do here because, you know, is are too many backpacks too much? You know, should I take the Sperone back and keep the Mini? Or, you know, should I maybe get the Sperone BB because I really like the smaller backpacks? And when I did my um, what fits in the Sperone versus the Palm Springs PM, uh, at the time I was filming on my iPad so I could not try to fit it into my Palm Springs PM because I know my son's will not fit I mean it, it's it's a tight fit yesterday when I was looking at the bag and deciding if I really wanted to keep it and if that was the bag for me I went and got my iPad and I tried to fit it in my Palm Springs and it fits I do not have a case on my iPad though so with the case, you probably have maybe a little bit of a struggle trying to get it in there. It would probably poke out the sides. But when I saw that, I thought, oh, okay, do I really need the Sperone if I can fit my iPad in my, you know, Palm Springs PM? Because the reason I got that is because it was bigger and it could fit more. And of course, and because of the pattern. But at this point, I, I really don't know. I don't know what I should do if I should keep it or, you know, take it back. <clears throat> so I would appreciate any advice that you guys have for me on these bags. And um, I'm also going to do um, a video up close of the different canvases. I'm going to pull the bag out and I'm going to set it side by side with all the other... Um, backpacks so that we can see, you can see you know the difference in the canvases so I'll do another video on that either that or I will just edit it and mash it in with this video so thank you guys and if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and please click the like button y'all have a good day thanks